Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thanks for being here. If you're new here, drop down in the description, check out the website, lots to see, lots to do there. Today, we're going to go ahead and remove the ball joint from a trailing arm. Now, I've got four of them, but I'm not going to show you all four because that would be repetition. However, we are going to remove a ball joint without a press, without using a press. Hopefully it works, we'll see. And then I have a kit like you see here, and hopefully it has the fittings and adapters for our ball joint to press it in. I don't know if I'll press it in in today's film, I'll try to squeeze it in. I try not to make these films too long. If in fact we don't have time today, if I see it's going too long, then there'll be a part two where we'll press it again next week's film. So I hope that made sense. I hope everybody's been doing well and your weekend went well. Let's get on it. First things first, this is the lower control arm. Well, one of them, anyhow. And as you see, let me show you a new ball joint. You have notches, okay, because these are directional. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know this already, but if I get one person that don't know, these ball joints are directional, okay? So they move forward and back because this is the way it would be coming out of the front beam, all right? So they move forward and backwards, okay? But to go side to side, there is no movement there, okay? So you gotta go forward and backward with it, but not side to side. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a boot off of here to show you what I mean because these need to be marked and can only go in one way. If not, you're gonna destroy the ball joint and take the life away from it. So I took, as you can see, the marks here on the ball joints, okay? And I notched my arm. So when I put the new ball joint in, I know the direction that it goes in. I hope that made sense. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to cut the boot off of this, although it's pretty much ripped anyhow. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about where I take this ball joint out and get a rag. Lots of grease. This will make sense when you see it. I'm just putting all new ball joints in right from the get-go. Okay, so see how there's a slot? Let me bring it closer. See how there's a slot? See, one direction. It can't go side to side, okay? So it's a one direction ball joint. And that's why you mark it. I'm sorry, I'm trying. So see how I put notches here and here, and then you have notches in the ball joint. So you have to line that ball joint up. This, let me get back in front of the camera. When this is coming out of the beam, okay, this would be front and back of the car, and that's the direction the ball joint moves. It can't move that way, this way. I hope that made sense, folks. Now here's another tip, okay? When you remove your shock off of your control arm and you go to put your new shock on, I don't have one here so I can't demo it, and it won't fit, that's why. This is from the inside of the old shock. Now I did put it back on there. Now I am gonna keep it on there for now because it protects this and of course your nut and your washer See, you're supposed to drop it just one time only though. And spin that on. It helps protect this, okay? But I've seen a lot of guys say, my new shock won't fit on. They don't realize this sleeve slid out of the old shock and it took me a little while to get this off of there. I had to keep PB blasting it, taking a pair of channel locks and working it back and forth till it came off. So there's that. And we are going to wrap this with a rag any type of cloth, tape it, because I don't want this getting damaged any worse than it is. 
I am going to take some fine to medium emery cloth and run it around this and smooth it up, but we'll be doing that last, okay? So let's get on it. So what I did here is I made a little contraption. Yes, I do have a vise in the garage, as you've seen a million times, but I don't like all them sparks flying around and hitting everything in there. I'm going to use a cutoff wheel. I could probably get away with it, but I don't want to. So I see clamp this to a block to hold it in place. See how? Take a cloth and wrap that up and just tape it. I'm sure you guys have duct tape. <laughs> and get it ready. We're going to slice the top of this off. Do not cut into your trailing arm at all. Don't cut into that. No, 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 no. You will destroy it. We're going to slice the top of this off. You'll see what I'm doing because we're going to try to push the ball joint itself, the spindle of it, out and then cut the rest out of the inside. You'll see what I mean. Don't forget to mark one more time before you remove this because you want to go in the same direction as it was. Remember, you can't go side to side, although this one's bad. You can only go one direction. So if you make your notches, when you put it back in, it will go in how it's supposed to with the notches on the ball joint. So let's cut this off. Well, the top, you'll see what I'm doing. Try to wear, wear protection while you're running stuff like this. I did nick a little wee bit, but it's okay. I'm trying to get this opened up, and there's the ball. See the ball right there? Okay, and that's what we want to knock out of here. I'm going to see now if I could smack it with a hammer and knock that out. So we'll go ahead and turn it on its side. Don't know if it's going to come out that easy, but we'll try. Ow. All right, there's the ball to the ball joint or whatever you want to call it, the spindle part of it. Now we got to get the rest of this out, so we're going to go into the shop now and get it in the vise. Give me a second. What we're going to do is we're going to take a hacksaw blade and we're going to insert it in here and then hook our handle back up. Let's do that first. We're going to make a slice down here, okay, to relieve the pressure on this so we don't need a press to press it out. Hopefully it works. Don't cut into your arm, so watch what you're doing. Cut very slowly. So let's do that. Let the saw blade do the work. Don't break your blade. I was going to use a sawzall, but I'm afraid it'll cut too quick and then cut right through the arm, and that would be bad. That would be catastrophic. Okay, let me see. Let me get my screwdriver. Because I see something came loose. Just the inside. There we go. So there's that. It's like a piece of plastic, probably where the ball read. Let's see how deep we are. We're still okay. Just keep checking it. You don't want to hit the arm. I mean, if you're nervy enough to use a sawzall, but the only problem is they cut through the stuff like butter and then the next thing you know you cut into your arm. So you're probably better off doing it by hand. Even though I'm lazy and I don't like doing things by hand if I don't have to. Okay, we're getting close. 
Check the other side. Not on the other side. It must be not cutting even. You got to look and make sure on this side I wasn't cutting level. So we're going to lean towards that way a little bit. Okay, I don't want to cut that no further. <coughs> Let me see if I can hit it out of there. Okay, let me spin this around. Really? Okay. I don't know if that'll pop out yet. Okay. And here, you want to see this a minute? Okay. Okay, as you can see, well, it's probably hard to see, but there's the split. I didn't cut it clear to the arm because I don't want to hit the arm, okay? And relieve the pressure by pounding on it and bending it in a little bit and then pounding it out. Let's finish getting it out. There you have it. Here it is. That's the ball joint, okay? And it presses in that way, obviously. Make sure you drop it. So, let's take a look at this. Oh. All right, and here's what it looks like. You want to, I can't get it to focus, there we go. You want to clean this all up inside with a little wire brush or whatever you have on hand, okay? And as you go around here, you see our mark there and our mark there, so you know where the new ball joint lines up, okay? So you just saved money on not paying someone to press it out, and we do it with simple hand tools, okay? Okay, as you can see, the inside of this is all crummy and crappy, and we need to clean it up before we try pressing a ball joint in, okay? So I'm gonna run a wire wheel inside of here that I have on my drill, it's a brass one, so it won't chew into this. So let's give that a try. You just want to get the rough stuff off of here. Because any little thing that it can catch on will make it harder to get in. So do the best that you can. I see some ridges here. Let me try to clean them up. Okay. You definitely want this as smooth as possible. I've seen, I was going to buy a press like you see here. I was told a 12 ton press, so to speak, has a struggle installing the ball joints on these beetles. They call for a 20 pound, bleh, 20 pound press. My thing is, as some people say these C-clamp presses work, we're gonna find out. I don't see how if a 12 ton press don't work, these will, but we'll see. Let me try one more thing. Okay, got this all cleaned up. There, that's much better. Well, better than it was, okay? And remember, the ball joints, okay, press in on the lower one, presses in from the bottom up, okay? And as you see, let me come up closer. See the marks right there, right there. And we're gonna line that up with the notches 
that we put on that. And you remember, here we go. I got to take the boot off. We don't want to ruin the boot. So we're going to take the boot out of the way. Don't run a screwdriver into the boot or you won't be happy with yourself. There you go. Almost. Okay. It's just a little circular clip. Let's take our boot off because we don't want to bugger it up. There's one at the top too. We'll see if yep, it'll push off. Okay. And then we can push it right back on. Okay, here you go. See the slot? That's why it can only go one direction that way, back and forth. Okay. All right, let me get a few things set up here. And hopefully we'll press it, no promises here. We're using the Astro 7865. I got this on Amazon, a lot of people like this. I just hope these fittings fits the ball joint. If not, then I'll have to go to a hardware store and find fittings to fit the ball joint. Okay, one thing I also wanted to tell you is make sure you put some grease on the inside of the troweling arm before you try pushing the ball joint in. Before I get the contraption all set up, here's what I mean. See where I got the mark cut into the troweling arm? And then there's the notch from the ball joint. I know you're getting tired of hearing me repeat myself, but I do that a lot for a reason, because sometimes I don't pay attention either to stuff, and then I find out later. So let's get this set up, and it's got to be pushed straight in. I don't even know if this will work. We're going to find out. So I have everything set up. Okay, and double check your lines again. I don't even know if this is going to work. This kit didn't come with the right enough spacers that I need. I could probably run to the hardware store and get some pipe and cut it to fit, but I want to try this first. I used a socket here. Hopefully it don't shatter, but you have to make sure you have clearance for the ball joint to make it through. Okay, I gotta take it apart. Oh, it's giving me trouble, of course. So I had the switchies around because the ball joint was being held up from coming through. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm not having no luck. I should have put the ball joints in a freezer overnight. And I didn't because I forgot. <clears throat> I mean, it's going very slow. <clears throat> oh. It's almost there. But I'm running out of oomph. I don't even know if oomph is a word. I don't like how that's seating in there. I'd like to run my air gun on it, but they said not to because the tool can't handle it, I guess. Let me get a little extension, three foot long. I don't know if it'll work. making that noise. Okay, so I'm out of breath. Looks like I got a little bit more to go, but the inside is seated. Let's flip it over and look at it. Now, if you look at the bottom, it's seated perfectly well. So I'm gonna go over this and decide if I need to push a little more because honestly, it's pushed through perfectly even. I'm not sure. Okay, so what I did is I went and got my other one. You know, it still has the factory ball joint in it. Okay, look at that one. And you can tell it's nice and even underneath there. This one's the same way. Focus. 
Come on. There you go. It sticks. Not sticks up. But it's not seating on that end. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys or not. Okay, so I believe we got a winner. I tried a little bit more and I forgot to hit the record button. No big deal. You're just watching me turn a C clamp. Yes, look at the bottom. Okay. And then look at the top. See how it's seated there? But if you look at the control arm, that's just the way it's shaped. It absolutely can't go in any further. And just for reference, here's the original one that I didn't do yet. You know, the other one. That one's seated a little bit more in right there, so I may push a little more. But see that? Right. Where am I at? Sorry. <laughs> right there. See how that's sticking out. Okay. So the C-clamp press blah blah works okay so that was ball joint 101 all right we cut it out so to speak so we didn't have to go pay to have it pressed out and we used the c-clamp tool i'm not a big fan of it but it worked uh if i probably had a strong impact gun it would have been a lot better it says not to use one on it though so i don't know uh i think if you went to a hardware store and took your ball joint with you you could get some pipe to fit better than what these sleeves do. But at the end of the day, we did make it work. And you could see, as I showed you, the differences between the two that it is pressed in all the way. So thanks for being here. Next week, you might not have as much fun. Me and Heather are going to be removing the glass out of the beetle. So I'm going to have her helping out. We're going to get that out. Then we're going to start on the body work. You might not have as much fun watching me do body work. So I'll speed a lot of that up. But since everybody's following me on this adventure, let's do it all together.